Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asim and yes, this is more 49ers content. So I've just watched my 40 minute reaction. I'll leave a link down in, uh, in the description. Uh, I've just done that. And um, so once I've done with that, I watched all the, uh, the interviews with the uh, coaches and different people. And, I can, uh, and as you can tell by the thumbnail and as you can tell by these words down the bottom, this is my thoughts on the 49ers and Chiefs preseason game week two. So let's kick ass and get into it okay so here we start and it is breaking news this is the first bit of news uh which is probably didn't come well come with a little bit of a shock but nothing major so as we knew before the uh the Fortnite training camp started um jimmy g was uh potentially going to be uh our starter and uh carl shanahan said he's going to be our starter week one uh, for the preseason and week one for the regular season, uh, mainly uh, after the regular season. So, as that was all said, week one of the preseason finished and uh, didn't really do much as a, a starter, it was pretty bizarre. And then, just to top it off, week two uh, on Sunday, uh, just as we expected, it happened again. He played worse, I think. Uh, on against the Chargers than he did against the Chiefs. Um, uh, fucking hell. As a starter, as a we, uh, as a quarterback, that's very bizarre, but that is what it is. And then I've just heard from Shanahan, um, a writer, uh, sorry, a, a journalist was saying, so uh, is um, Jimmy G still going to be your uh, week one uh, regular guy for the, uh, against the Lions? And he said, I don't know. I don't know. That's what he said to him, and I'm not going to tell you. I just don't know. How can you say that? You literally just said Jimmy G is your regular season week one guy. Now you have just said in front of the world, in front of the 49ers fans worldwide and in the Bay Area, and just there, dead on there, and he said, I don't know if Jimmy G is going to be our week one. Amazing, isn't it? He would not start. He would not... Uh, um, answer the questions i don't know who's going to be week one for the lions i don't know bizarre right well not bizarre but you, you sort of you saw it coming but you didn't know because i still thought he would be week one and now he's saying i don't know who's going to be week one don't know wow amazing um and Every single journalist straight after that tried to get onto him, but he was just not having it. He was literally saying, I've got a clue. I don't know who's going to be week one of the uh, against the Lions. Amazing how you've just said during the training that Jimmy's at week one. It's fantastic shape. Looks great. And we all know that's bollocks because they're trying to get rid of him for a trade, but... Just to say that Jimmy G's going to be our week one starting guy. And then now you've just seen that. You've seen how he's played. And now he's just changed his mind. It's gone, well, I don't know. He's going to be week one now. I don't know. Who knows? Wow. Okay. Um, but that's it. That's the breaking news on that. And uh, I'll, I'll continue on with Jimmy G. So, Jimmy G. What are my thoughts on that guy for week two? He looked really bad. Um, it was bizarre, really bizarre. He didn't look like he was confident enough to go out there. Um, I mean, the front, he put enough confidence front, but when he was playing, there was no confidence in there. He looked scared because he just don't, he just don't want to get hit. But you got, look at it, theoretically, he's going to get hit. Um, he threw the ball sometimes way higher that, you know, the players couldn't even grab sometimes. And um, and I'm not saying it was all of it, because sometimes, you know, we're throwing the ball to the player and then the player drops it. So it weren't, you know what I mean, some of it weren't his fault, you know what I mean, I'm being fair here. But some, you know, he's praying, like he threw a ball high. I don't know if it's the Ayuk or Samuel. He threw the ball high. Where, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's Ayuk or Samuel. It, it, he could... I couldn't grab it. It was bizarre. throwing it too high. Um, and I don't think he trusts himself. I, 
I don't think he's got enough trust in him. Like, if he gets hit, he gets hit. But I don't think he's got enough trust to, you know, in himself to do ability things. He he just looked too. He, he just he lacked confidence big time, and it was bizarre. And that is our starting quarterback, a starting quarterback for week one. Apparently, maybe, maybe now we don't even know. But you know, if he's supposed to prove himself to Trey Lance in his quarterback competition, or prove to himself that he is the guy that he's going to try and get you to a playoff final or to a playoffs, but fucking Jesus Christ, a wild card or anything. That's your guy. I don't know, man. It, it just didn't, you know, the way that he played, it was like no competition between him and Lance. I thought Studfield looked better than him. And Studfield was crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was weird. Um, yeah, bizarre. I mean, it's not looking good for Jimmy G. I'm telling you that now. He just lacked confident, confidence. He didn't trust himself. He didn't lack you know what I mean? His confidence in himself was gone. It looked so weird. I mean, when you see it, it, it just looks so bizarre. But, I, you know, if it's now down to week three. If he can pull something out the bag, I'll be shocked. But if he can pull something out the bag against Trey Lance in like this quarterback competition or whatever, um, I think Jimmy G could start week one against, uh, against the Lions. Uh, and if he doesn't, if you see no improvement, you can kiss his ass goodbye, mate. I think Trey Lance will be doing a lot of the work than Jimmy G. Because you don't want a crap season like we did before. You just don't want a crap season. We are like the underdogs, like a lot of the 31 teams. But we are like the underdogs, me personally, that could get to a playoffs and actually do well than we think. But we don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it's not looking good for him. It's not looking good for his career either. Uh, but, you know, it's... I thought they might have left him on there for week one, week two maybe. Um, quarter one, quarter two maybe, just to get him a little bit in there. But Shanahan obviously didn't want him on there. Took him off. You know, Shanahan tries to make him look good. And he comes out crap. And then he did an interception as well, which, was I shocked? Really, when you look at it, was I shocked? Was you shocked? No. Because he makes so many um, interceptions anyway. Throws to no one. Throws to the opposite team. Like, who's he passing it to? Bizarre. But yeah, Jimmy G ain't looking good, bar none. He's just lacking down confidence and lacking himself. Like, gone. Like, he's just, it's like his career is on a, He's on a tight end. We don't pull something out soon. <laughs> don't know what we're going to see. But yeah, that's uh, but that's it on Jimmy G, really. Nothing really more to say. Um, let's move on to the next guy. All right, so here we are. Let's move on. This guy. Trey Lance. Um, what can I say about this guy? Yet again, lacked a little bit in confidence. Um, I don't know why, because in week one, he played all right. Week two, he... he, he like Sunday, he, yeah, it was a bit shaky, to say the least. Another one who was slowly lacking in confidence, but he looked a bit, he looked better. He looked a bit better. Um, I mean, what did he do? What, he started, what? One of five and then... One of five and a pick. But then finished, what, seven and nine? Two touchdowns. Yeah, seven and nine, two touchdowns, something like that, which which is good. Um, but then this guy's just settling in, and he he's he's um, settling into the team. It's only week two. He's done a lot of training camps, which is up and down, up and down. But it's only his second foot full on NFL preseason game. Um, he lacked a little bit of confidence, but he's like I said, he's settling in, and he actually looked good. He looked good, like you can tell. When you buy an, like a football player, he looks good in a shirt. He looks good in a 40, not a shirt. Um, but yeah, I feel that he's limited to plays as well. Because Shana, Shannon's, you know, he's in his, he's in his ear. 
It feels like I feels like he's limited to about forty, maybe fifty percent of the game. I think he could do more. He ran a decent match. Sorry, he ran a bit decent. Sorry, um, which was good because he's a mobile quarterback. He's have listen. He's athleticism. He's in his legs and he can run. He's got a great chemical uh, mechanical arm. Um, very quick with the bullet passes. Nice over the lobbing over to uh, Trent Sherfield again. To Sherfield, that was good again. You know, he's a very good quarterback. You know, they have a decent... We have probably one of the decent quarterbacks. Which the 49ers always come out with great quarterbacks. And I think it'll be another one for us. Another good quarterback. Um, but yeah, I think he's limited to like 40, 50% of the time. I still think that. And I think that's where the confidence sort of goes. Maybe, he, I don't know. A quarterback don't want to get hit, but I feel that Trey Lance lacks confidence because he can't do what he wants to do. You've got your fucking coach, you've got Shanahan in your ear telling you blah, 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 blah. But, you know, 95% of the time he's passing in the pocket. 5% of the time he's running. He's more of a runner. So you like to see like 50, 60% passing and the rest. Maybe 50, 40%. Uh... Um, passing I don't know what I say you want to see 50% of him passing it and 50% of him running it because he's a good runner and there was yet again on the games there was a few decent times where he could have ran it himself which he did on some of them but there was an, another load of times he could have done it as well but I don't think he was either given a given the instruction to do what he wanted to do I think he was just given orders by Shanahan Um and he's outplaying Jimmy G easily, even with a little bit of confidence out of it, of lack of confidence. He looks better than Jimmy G all the way. And in this quarterback competition that everyone keeps driving on about, Jimmy G or Trey Lance, who are you going to go with? Well, you're going to go with your rookie quarterback, aren't you? You want to go with Trey Lance. I want to go with Trey Lance, me personally. I think Jimmy G's had it. I think his career's in... It is in free fall. Trey Lance is doing amazingly as a rookie quarterback. Um, and he's like, you know what I mean? Settling in, second big game. And it, it just looks right. He looks good. He throws good. He runs good. We've. I don't think Carl Shannon knows how, how good and John Lynch knows what they've done. <clears throat> Sorry, I think... They've picked probably a very great quarterback. They've done really well here. And I hope um, he does wonders for us. Will he do week one? I've got no idea. Uh, the way that he looks, he looks like he's going to do week one. And um, listen, if Jimmy G can prove on week three, the Raiders, because they are doing very well themselves, um, if they can do wonders against the Raiders... If Jimmy G can do it, then he'll be your, uh, your week one starter. But the way that's looking, ain't looking good. But if Trey Lance can beat that, I'd love to see that. I would love to see a win against the Raiders, and Trey Lance does it, and it will be a QB. Uh, it'll be yeah, it'll be a QB one. It'll be a starter one. But we'll find out. Um, and that's and that's it on Trey Lance. Um, uh, yeah, on others is. Uh, these guys alright so the defence I thought we played really well as backups really well a few people caught my eye I can't remember some of the names but a few people caught my eye I think it was like um, Lenore he's a good backup corner really good he should be on the team as a backup it, it, it it was unreal to see this backup team because I thought, you know, we. I, I thought, oh God, when you saw uh, this picture, and you can see by all of that, our main starters are off again, and you think to yourself, well, when are these fuckers going to start? When are these? When are these are going to start? You can't stick them on week one against the Lions already. They need to be in a preseason game, hopefully now against the Raiders, but they should have started now, but. They didn't. We had the backups. 
And these backups were really bloody good. The defence was really good. I actually loved the defence. I loved what they did. Like I said, Lenore, great backup corner. Um, Hufunga, really good. Givens, really good. Who else? Jordan Willis, what? The, good. Um, that's just at the top of my head. Um, but the whole defence was fantastic. And the pressure, it's more like they didn't put pressure into it, but they kept it contained in that circle. Like there was a player, I can't remember who it was, Chargers quarterback, couldn't remember which one, passes the ball to, I don't know, it's Roundtree or whatever, I couldn't remember, pass the bloke, tries to go straight in the middle, bang, got fucked over, and I don't know who did it, I don't know who knocked him over, but it's, it's not like we're pressing, it's like, how do I put it, pressuring, it's more of containing it there, we're containing it in this, around that pocket, you ain't moving from us, I know some that was out, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. But it was a really good containment of defence players that's putting it down there. You, we're keeping you here. Even for the safety. The two points that we got. Christ, quarterback had the ball. I can't remember who came out from the left. Struck him. Didn't see it coming. We've gr great defence backups. We played very well. Very, very well. Um, but yeah, that they were decent. I mean, there's nothing more I can say about the defensive players. We were really good with the defense. Um, these guys, on the other hand, are not too sure. Okay, so offensive players wasn't the greatest, but it was good. Um, yes, we could argue. That even saying good was a bit there, eh, but I thought they played well. Yes, we dropped the ball a lot. Quarterbacks were giving it, and either Ayuk uh, tried to grab it. All right, it was too high. Could he possibly mm, go like go for it? We could argue a toss, maybe. He could have done it. Could have not. Two interceptions. From them, I think it was Samuel and Ayuk. Okay, maybe. Um, even the snap from Stuffield, you know what I mean? Like, he was waiting for the ball, but it jumped, it, it dropped underneath the player's legs. Don't know what the bloody hell that was about. Um, you know, there was a few throws, a few drops. They, uh, they did all right. I thought they did good, but not great. Against the offense and the defense, the defense played great, and the offense was was all right. They played well, but yeah, we can't do that against the Raiders. If they're going to be playing the backups again, the Raiders are very good. Are they going to play against? You know, I, I don't know if they're going to use the backups. It looks like they're going to use the backups. There's no confirmed. I uh, think there's no confirmed news about it just yet, but I'll keep an eye out and post it out if I do. But yeah, you know, the Raiders are hot on it and we need to be to win two out, out of the three. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, my thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, overall, we played well. We did good. One loss, one win. Let's go for week three and get a win against the Raiders. That would be great. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for 40 subscribers. Really fortunate. I have all appreciated you guys subscribed. And if you are new, subscribe to do a lot more 49ers news. I'll be trying to get the news out during the training camp. It'll be the last week of the training camp as well. And I'll be doing uh, reactions and reviews on other stuff as well. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.